Now we have some problems in which we're being asked to estimate the area of a figure. And this is some strange squiggly figure that we don't have a formula for. So we really have to estimate it. We have to make our best guess. There are some ways to make the guessing easier. The first thing you should know is that when you see a grid like this with a shape on it, you can think of these grid boxes, each as one unit. They're not telling us this is centimeters or meters or feet or whatever. So when we come up with the area, we'll say it's this many square units. And the first thing I want to do is see if I can draw in here some shapes that I do know how to figure out the area for. And I'm just going to do that. I'm going to draw, let's see if I can draw straight here, a rectangle. And that pretty much stays inside the shape. And now I have a big chunk of this already figured out. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 times 8 is 48. So this chunk in here is 48 units. Now I can just count some of the other ones. And I'm going to start with the ones that are, are whole. And I'm just going to mark them off as I count them. There's one. This one's mostly there. So I'm just going to go ahead and count it. Two. I'll leave the partial ones later. And I'll deal with those later. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This, this one's mostly there. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Some of those look like they might be half ones, so I'll skip them for now. Eighteen, nineteen. Those are all. Rest of these aren't really whole ones or, or don't count. So I've got 19 here plus 48. So I'm up to 67 now. OK. So I'm getting there. Now I'm just going to go through and try to count the ones that maybe are partially there and, and make an estimate about what they add up to. So these two might make a whole one. So there's one, uh, two, three. Uh, these are pretty small. Well, four, and maybe this one, this one, and this one would be five, six. This one and this one would be seven, eight, nine, and maybe these three would be ten, eleven, twelve. So maybe about twelve more. So sixty-seven plus twelve would be seventy-nine. Now, this is not an exact number, but it's a pretty good estimate. And usually on a problem like this, you might have um, multiple choice. So it might say, what's the best number for the area? Is it 60 square units, or 80 square units, or 100 square units? If that was the case, we'd choose 80. So strategy, box off part of it, and then count the rest of them, and make your best guess about the, the partial ones. OK, let's look at one more of these. This one's actually a little easier, because it's not curved. So we can get pretty exact here. These um, diagonal lines, they actually cut those boxes exactly in half. So I think we can, we can pretty much find an exact area. First thing I'm going to do is see what kind of boxes I can draw in here to make some of this easy. So there's a box that is 1, 2, 3 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 times 3 is 18. So that's good. Let me see if I can draw another one in here. That's this box, and that's 2 by 4, so that's 8. And now I'm going to start counting the, the odd whole ones that are left off here. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we've got, so far, 18, 8, and 4. And now we've got some half ones to count, so I'll just count one for every two. There's 1, 2, 3, 4. And I think I covered everything. So 4 and 4 is 8, and 8 is 16, and 18. What is that? 34? So I'm pretty sure a really strong estimate, if not the exact value for this, is 34 square units. So that's how to estimate the area of um, these complex shapes.